exo cage. Uh, they're still working. I've gone all the way up off the front, around the wheel well, tied into my front bumper. This is just solid. Same thing here, tied in, tied into the front bumper. If you can see that, it actually clamps. There's a sleeve that slides over the end of the bumper, and it clamps on it. That way, if I need to remove the bumper, I can just click take the clamp off. I'm up and over the back, and I've gone all the way around. And I don't know whether you can. It's kind of dark under here, but shit. Yeah, what I'm gonna do is uh, tie in here on two sides, kind of radius it out, and then down here where this hitch is, I'm gonna put a steel plate. I got a piece of half inch steel plate. That's gonna get welded right directly onto that hitch. That way that can be unbolted, and I can relief, you know, unbolt it from the, the frame. Now there's the mount for the connection to the roll cage. That's half inch steel. I left room for my ball to go back on there, and I also got a hole. I'm gonna, cause I always put a clevis in there, put me a strap on there to pull other people out, or me. Um, now we'll get these tubes up, get them in there. There's that tail section all welded up. That's where uh, was the hitch. Let's see if I can't burn myself. I just welded that on where the hitch was. The big holes where the ball's gonna go back on. I gotta drill the other one out for my clevis. Uh, welded all the way around. That piece of half inch is pretty heavy. That lets me unbolt it down there and then these snap over the frame and uh, they get drilled and tapped. That way I can remove this tail section if I ever need to work on the bike. There we go. It's bolted in place. That uh, that makes this back hoop, for the want of a better description, solid as a rock. Now that's it's fastened solid to the frame. That gives me uh, a back bumper, kind of intrusion bars that keep people off my vitals. No tail light keeps them off the plastic. And like I said. Put my clevis down there and uh, put my ball in. It'll let me pull someone out if I have to. Um, that is what I call the subframe, and it is done. My garage wasn't so cramped, I could get farther out and get a better picture, but I'm cramped. Okay, I'm gonna do my, uh, I don't know what they call this, A pillar is gonna be next. That's what my rack and pinion, my steering column and everything will be off of. And then the B is gonna have to go up and over. But I think it's not gonna go in that direction. It's probably gonna go from here up to where my head's gonna be, across the top and down to the windshield. But uh, we'll get started on that. I think I'm done for this evening. Um, something that's gotta happen is I think I need to make my seat frames and get my butt in there and find out where my head's gonna be. And I already took some profile pictures of this thing. And what I want to do is get on the computer and print out a, a, a picture of it. And then I can take just a marker and I can, I can do my roll cage and I can get the angles and lengths and everything from that picture. So this concludes this one for today.